Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Drew and this is Just a Guy Linux on YouTube. And we are doing our fourth video on DWM today and this one will be centered around key bindings. I don't know if this was the correct order to do things in, uh, especially when you are so heavily dependent on key bindings in a tiler, in a tiling window manager. Um, I do know that a couple years ago, I was doing my first foray into DWM, and when I started looking at the configuration file and trying to determine how am I going to put in key bindings for just regular uh, applications, it looked a little challenging for me. And so back then, I was so inexperienced, I didn't realize that there was a better solution out there. For example, if I go over here and I look at what um, Eric Dubois did, Eric Dubois is the genius behind Arco Linux and Arco DWM is really, really good. Um, so, and I saw a video of him and I don't know where I saw it, but I, and I'm gonna paraphrase huge amount right now. Uh, but basically he said the strategy was to keep things as simple as possible in the actual configuration file and then use SXHKD to, um, to supplement that so that if you change terminals or you change file managers or something like that, you all had, only, only thing you had to do was go to your SS, SXHKDRC file, change it and you're like, you're, you're good to go and without having to rebuild the configuration file. So I thought that was a, a tremendous strategy to take and that's one we're gonna take uh, today. So if you have not done this already, um, I would suggest installing SXHKD and I am gonna go over here to, and basically let's take a look for a second. Basically what he did was um, comment a bunch of lines that he didn't think were, at least that's what I, that's, I'm assuming, right? Uh, I'm assuming that he just said, you know what, I don't need this, I don't need that. And so I took the same strategy, and when I look at these two files, okay, the one on the left in this section is the one that uh, was built, you know, last time. You know, when, when, I left, when I left you last and DWM was working great, uh, this was the configuration file. And what I did was I just renamed it uh, before.config.def.h. And the reason why before is because before I started commenting stuff out, okay? And so, for example, I went ahead and commented the terminal um, so that I could just change the terminal in SXHKD. I also added a couple things. Like for me, I actually like using, uh, I'm not a great Vim user, so to use J and K is fine, but I actually wanna use like the left and right arrow keys. I know that makes me probably, I don't know, something <laughs> in the eyes of the community, but I actually like using, so if I was to um, just super and then, you know, left and right, basically I'm changing the focus and I actually like doing that. Um, same thing here, uh, as far as changing the size of the, uh, of the window, I'm using, I, I left it in too, and so you can use uh, H and L, uh, mod shift H and L, but I also wanted mod shift Oh, sorry, mod control left and right. And the reason why I'm using control there and not shift is because it made sense in my head that when I want to shift something, when I move the stack, that shift should have been the operand, or I guess that's the right word, operand. So when I say uh, mod shift left and right, it actually shifts the, the, uh, the window. So, and I also started thinking to myself, do I need these, you know, increasing gaps, 
No, not really. So I started modifying and just like put one comment there and one comment there. So I was like, all of this, I don't really need uh, to increase gaps or anything like that. So I also put in a couple more comments and you can see, and I've changed some things too. Like for example, uh, the kill client mod shift uh, C is what was before. And I want to basically, I'm going to go ahead and put this over, uh, mod Q. So basically super Q for kill client, which is what I've been using. And it's been messing me up big time when I go back over to my BSPWM. I've been hitting, <laughs> I've been hitting like mod shift C when I have kind of trained my muscle memory to just say mod Q and to uh, close the window. So also, you know, we have the two different types of quits, one going uh, to, uh, you know, mod control shift Q is the one basically to restart DWM. Mod shift Q is the one that basically closes DWM and you go back to uh, your, your login screen. So you can see the, the, you know, the comments and the strategy for me at least to make this is a, a lot more of a uh, workable for me. So again, I would, re I would suggest to you say, oh wow, yeah, I don't need that, I don't need this, I don't need that, and let's go to and, and make things as simple for me. But then the real, the real break is to uh, put and install SXHKD. Now, if you are like me, and I installed uh, DW, this build of DWM on my working machine, the one I you know, use every day, that I use BSPWM, you're not obviously going to use the same uh, SXHKD that you do for BSPWM. Now, there's going to be similarities, so make sure that you put a separate, um, a separate configuration file in a completely different location. Now, a lot of times people will just put it, this, this uh, directory SXHKD uh, in their DWM directories. And that's a, that's a really good idea. I just didn't do that just so that I didn't have to like type extra. <laughs> that's it. That's the only reason so that I could just, um, you know, go CD space, dot config suck less xxhkd rather than dwm sxhkd so i just put it in the suckless directory so i know that it's part of this the you know these dwm uh, programs now by looking at the current sxhkdrc for you know for this version of dwm uh, you know, all I'm doing is putting in a browser terminal super space is now instead of um, zooming, you know, is using uh, Rofi, which is awesome, you know, rather than have to hoot super P and start typing stuff. I like actually using Rofi. It's my preferred uh, menu of choice. Um, as far as Super X, and these are actually, um, these are bash scripts that I wrote for certain things. Um, in fact, this might be interesting, is Super H. If I type Super H, it basically, it is the key bindings. So, you know, you can see it a couple times and it shows you what each of the key bindings does, okay? And then Thunar, Genie, Gimp, and so on. Okay. I use Scrot. I think, and I've shown this before. This is not new. Um, Redshift on, and Redshift. I don't know. Did I even install Redshift? Uh, so Super Alt R. Super Alt B. Oh, it's not on because. It, okay, so let me just do that real quick, just so you can get an idea of what it does. Um, let me go back over to eight just for a second. And so sudo apt install redshift. Okay. All right, so when I go back over here and I say, basically, super alt R is redshift on. So super, 
super alt R. It basically changes, hopefully you'll be able to see that. Basically it changes the color. This is more of a nighttime type thing for me. Um, and then if I want it brighter back to like a normal, I just hit super alt B and it changes the uh, temperature to normal again, um, regardless. So while I'm actually demonstrating some key bindings, um, let me get finish what I was finish what I was saying though as far as XXHKD. Okay, so currently, since we use the auto start uh, patch in DWM, uh, you will have the auto start .sh in your dot local share DWM directory, and I've added a couple things. Blue Man applet since it's a uh, this machine has um, Bluetooth. And I have put in this SXHKD and pointed the configuration to that suckless SXHKD RC directory. So make sure you do that as well, or you're not going to get your key bindings. Okay. Let's go back over here just so you can see. Um, as far as, now I don't know if all of this is going to be visible, on, but I'll do my best. Okay. So as far as um, focusing the stack, you can use J or K. I already demonstrated right and left. Um, as far as um, the left and right control mass. So that would be just changing the size of the window. I just use the right and left arrow keys to do that. Now, again, if you're a Vim user, you're totally you know, used to using H and L. Um, and then as far as moving the stack, like I said, shift seems to be the best thing for me. Uh, so super shift left and right, okay? Again, if you are using something like uh, SXHKD, um, sometimes you want to keep it as simple as possible and make sure that if you change something, make sure you put in the uh, the uh, feedback. So like if I say it says reloaded, just so that you know that it has, re it, you know, reloaded. Okay. Now, since this is such a kind of simple and elegant solution to key bindings, um, I'm going to try to just put what I have in my dot files on my GitHub, which will be in the description below. Uh, so if you want to use them, you're, you're welcome to. Um, I wanted to also say that I have changed my, um, let me just open that real quick. I have changed my um, patches just a tiny bit. Okay, let me go to patches, um, DWM, that's all right. I'll just go to the, uh, here we go. Now, and I'm going to try to show you in this video. I will do my very best to show you in this video. It might not work. And the reason why is because on my production machine, I'm using a, a uh, widescreen, ultra widescreen display. And in, you know, on this one, I'm obviously just using, you know, 1920 by 1080. Nothing wrong with that, but I really like the ultra wide, which is, uh, what is it, 3440 by 1440 or something like that. So anyway, what I did um, was I removed this attached bottom. Okay, I removed that for the ultra wide okay and I did this centered master I installed that now the ultra wide plus this was kind of giving me some issues not issues it worked it just didn't the flow wasn't right for me so I will you know even if I can't attach it to the video I will put a separate video in the widescreen, ultra widescreen display, just so that I can demonstrate uh, this particular patch. Okay. So anyway, 
Uh, hope that you've enjoyed this particular, like I said, this is, I don't think it's going to be a very long video, but um, key bindings, so important. But I think the way um, Eric Dubois has explained it is really spot on. So I uh, hope that you get the most out of this particular uh, series. Um, if you have any comments, please put them in the um, in the comments below. And don't you know? Hopefully, if you are a subscriber, I'm almost at a thousand, which is awesome at 985 right now. So thank you for uh, spending time, and uh, good day.